What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Martin the Samo Sam back again with another video. Hey guys, I was just just wanna just reach out, man. Make sure you uh you striving to be the best that you can be. Reaching for the stars, continue to push, believe in yourself, believe in your work ethic. Uh, most importantly, believing in God. Uh, just a mental check, man. Make sure you guys are doing well. Um, make sure you guys are just going after your dreams, man. You know, uh, pushing, you know, through the ups and downs, just pushing. Despite whatever may be going, going on in your life, you're just pushing for greatness. You know, you're pushing to excel in life, you know. Um, also, you know, I just hope you guys out here are being smart as far as, you know, creating you a side hustle, you know, stepping out on faith and just being a hustler, you know what I'm saying? And just what I mean by that is just coming up with ways to figure it out how to make ends meet, you know what I'm saying? If you already got you a nine to five, but then you got you, you know, other hustles on the side. If it's cutting grass, washing cars, um, moving people out there, you know what I'm saying? Just move, being a mover, um, you know, whatever it is, you, you, you decide to do a personal trainer, you know, just go hard at it. You know what I'm saying? Create that side hustle so you can, you know, support your, you know, whatever it, whatever it is that you want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, and most importantly, continue investing in your health, guys. That's the most important thing. You got to continue investing in your health. Your health is the number one thing. You got to invest in your health. You got to invest in, like, you know, hold on, guys, my bad. My watch keep going off. Like I was saying, though, guys, um, you kind of want to, you know, invest in yourself, invest in your health. You know, if you're investing in your health out here, shit, I don't know what to tell you guys. I'm just keeping it real with you. You got to invest in your health. You got to put yourself first. You got to continue just, you know, working hard, grinding. Most importantly, building your credit, guys. I understand y'all want money. I understand that. Trust me. I do. I really understand that you really want your money. You want to make all this money. But it's not going to do you any justice if you ain't got credit along with it. Yeah, money can buy you a lot of stuff. But credit can can get you get you a lot of stuff that money won't. You know what I'm saying? Money can't. At, you know what I'm saying? Especially, you know, when these... What, what I mean by this. Let me clear this up. So say you know business deal you know say you're going on a business deal you know you want to buy you know partners in them you know you got money you got money but you ain't trying to spend all your money you know what i'm saying you're trying to you know use your credit and, and what i mean by that is say you got like four or five partners uh say you got about four or five partners uh and you know y'all want to go in on a building and the building gonna cost you about 2.5 million you know, and, and say you got about 400000 saved up. You got some money. You know what I'm saying? You got money. But, you know, all you and your partners got 400000 apiece. You know what I'm saying? But y'all y'all not trying to put all y'all money. The other the other four partners of yours got credit scores of 790, between 790 and eight, uh, 800. You know what I'm saying? 790 to 800. And your credit scores are 550. You're going to kind of hurt the deal more than anything once y'all apply for the loan. You know what I'm saying? Because of your credit score is kind of low. And that all that goes into consideration. You know what I'm saying? And it costs more interest to be. It costs more money to be put down. And the reason why that is, it's cause it'll F you up. Because say you have to put your whole 400 down because of your deal. Because you messed everything up. Because you had to put an extra. Say everybody was only had to put down $100,000 a piece. But since the deal is messed up, they got put down an extra additional, because your credit score, they got put down an additional 300, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all applying for a big loan or whatever, because not everybody can apply for the loan. Say you, say y'all, say y'all history is not big enough for as, you know, attaining a loan that big, like a $3.5 million building or whatever. And um, 
you know, by having multiple partners, they got good credit scores, that got credit length, you know what I'm saying? They got history with certain things. That's that would be able to help you out. You know what I'm saying? That would be able to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Get you what get to get you where you need to be at. You know what I'm saying? Instead of you having that credit score, um, it affect it affect the loan amount, the down per, the purchase amount, as far as how much money you have to put down. You don't want to put down like you know they might ask you, everybody was only had to put down a hundred thousand. Now everybody got to put it down an additional two hundred thousand. You know they don't want to put that down because you know what I'm saying. And then the group gonna look at you like, well, since we everybody got to put down an extra two, you know, that's almost eight hundred thousand dollars. Everybody got to put down. What about you put all that money down since you know you affect the credit score? You know what I'm saying? Just in case, because certain. Certain businesses run like that sometimes, you know what I'm saying? It's no point of buying stuff straight out when you're trying to invest in it and, you know, take a percentage of your money, only put down, and then continue making revenue off of it. It doesn't, guys, I'm telling you, man, if, you in the, if, if you're making good money right now, also build your credit, guys. Trust me, you want to build your credit. If you're making good money now, you definitely want to build your credit, man. I ain't going to say that. Just, I ain't saying it just to say that, but guys, I'm being 100 with you. If you got money, build your credit. Take time out, work on your credit. Work on building yourself. Work on doing things you need to do for yourself in order to achieve certain things to elevate in life. Because you want to elevate. You want to grow. You want to excel. You know what I'm saying? That's the things we want to do in life. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to go back. We trying to go forward. You know what I'm saying? This is a mental check-in. You know, I just want to check in on you guys and just make sure you guys are doing well and, you know, striving for greatness, man. Because, I mean, I know it gets hard out here. You know what I'm saying? We all got family that's going through it, ups, ups and downs, trials and tribulations, you know. Uh, but, you know, we got to continue pushing for greatness at the end of the day. And, you know, and just don't stop, you know. Um, it's a lot of... It's a lot. It's a lot of bull crap around here. You know what I'm saying? Just don't hop on the first train. They say they can make you money. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got people that's like that. You know what I'm saying? So continue to invest in yourself and doing what you need to do. It's your boy Mark.